Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I am going to demonstrate for you this new, I don't know how new it is, uh, but this has been sent to me a while ago. This is the GHD Duet and this is wet to styled two-in-one tool. First of all, it came in a gorgeous velvet box. Really, really nice with your instructions in there. And also this Sleek Talker Wet to Sleek Styling Oil. So this is hair dryer and flat irons in one, but not the way you would think. If you look inside here, can you see these grids there? This is where the hot air comes out. So this is your hair dryer. And then on the sides, these are the flat iron plates. It also comes with this silicone cover. So how this works, you style your hair from wet, not dripping wet obviously. I think I should maybe even wait a bit longer and I will tell you later why. I've tried a couple of times now so I have my thoughts but I will tell you about that later on. So you turn it on here, it's really simple, you turn it on here, you will hear it beep, it will be quiet for a second and then it will sound like a plane taking off. It gets faster and faster and a bit louder. It's not very loud, it's actually quieter than most hair dryers. And when it beeps twice, I think it's twice, means it's ready to use. Then you section your hair and you clamp it, you hold it for three seconds near the scalp because that's where your hair is the wettest and then you glide it down very slowly and each section apparently needs three passes to be completely dry and that's your hair dryer. Then when you finished with that and you still want to straighten your hair, while this is still on, you press this button till it starts flushing. You will hear after a few seconds the hair dryer turning itself off and the hot plates will start warming up and then you will have beep again that they are ready to use. So don't think that you're using hot plates on wet hair because that would fry your hair. The plates will feel hot while you're drying it with the hair dryer portion of this tool but that's only because the air is heating them up. It's not the electricity that is heating the plates up. So let me just demonstrate it now for you. So I'm going to turn it on. Did you hear that beep? It's ready to use now. And now if I wanted to he put it away from the microphone. And now if I wanted to finish with the hair dryer and start the flat iron, I just press this button. Have to hold it for a few seconds. Can you hear it going quieter? Now it turned itself off. Can you see this flashing? Wait for the beep. And that's when the plates are heating up now and now it's ready. And just to turn it off, you just turn it off. So it's really easy. I thought it would be much more complicated. And now I will show you how it works. It is a bit heavy. I would say it's a weight of, well, I have the Dyson hairdryer. So I would say it weighs a bit the same. Maybe it's a bit lighter, but it's hard to tell because obviously different shape. It's it's um, ergonomically, it's different how you hold it, but it's pretty comfortable. I must say that if I don't take breaks, especially when I'm doing the top, my arm starts aching. So I have to take a little break. Now this is quite expensive. This is up there with the Dyson product. So this, it depends where you buy it, is between 
140 pounds to 380 pounds very expensive i think dyson has similar tool that is like a hair dryer with flat plates i think the difference with the dyson tool i've never used it but i've seen someone using it is that obviously it doesn't have the plates the flat iron plates built in it and when you're using it you can only point it down because the air is blowing down with this it's a bit better because i will show you later you can actually add some body to it i was very afraid that this tool will definitely not be for me because you know i like body in my hair and i thought this is just gonna be really really flat you can then even curl your hair my hair is too short for this width of straightness to give me a curl maybe i could give it a bend but you can also with the straightening mode curl your hair okay so let's do it i think i'm going to section off just this top oh i didn't put that oil on now i don't want to put too much you don't need much i will just put one squeeze because I don't want my hair to flat, but it is very good. It feels quite silicone and oily, but it doesn't leave your hair greasy or anything like that. So this is, I think, a heat protector at the same time. It's really, really good. It's not like your ordinary oil that leaves your hair looking almost wet and greasy. It just really helps with the straightening of the hair. So I'm going to section off my hair at the back. My hair is really curly at the back. Look at it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it on. going to hold it for a few seconds and then slowly turn it down three times. My hair is already quite dry here at the back because I've got such fine hair it dries really quickly. What I'm going to do, I will do a couple more sections at the back because you can't see what I'm doing at the back anyway and then I will come back where, when I'm doing my sides and the front so you can see a bit better how it works. Okay, so I've done this bit. It took no time at all but can you see how thin my hair is here and it was almost dry anyway. My hair at the back is pretty wet because that's where I've got the most hair. So let's carry on. So when you turn this on and for a few seconds you don't hear anything, don't think this is broken because it takes it a few seconds to start going. Okay, so have a look. Of course my thin hair here is not that wet now because I've been talking for a while but basically you take a section clamp it at the root and now if you want if you want a bit of lift point it up like me if you want it straight down just point it down but of course I want a bit of lift at my root so I'm pointing it up first and you hold it for three seconds or so at the root and then you slowly sliding it down. And you see I go in that beveled motion to give myself a bit of 
lift and body so you can achieve some lift and body but if I just wanted my hair really flat and straight I would just point it down and go straight like this So look how straight it gets your hair. I am really surprised. So here my hair is quite wet. And I've noticed, I'm gonna hold it down there. And I've noticed that when your hair is that wet, it takes definitely more than three times, three passes to get it completely dry. Okay, so that was three passes and my hair is almost dry but not completely. So what I do, I move to another bit and then go back to that one. Go back to that one. So this one took five times. When you turn it off, it takes a few seconds to shut off as well. So this is doing fabulous job. Okay, let's carry on. I might speed this up. Now you can see how it works. And I will come back when I'm near the top. Look how straight my hair is, as if I use straightness and I haven't even touched the straightness. So I am quite impressed with it, but I will carry on and I will tell you exactly how I feel about it when I'm finished. Um, I will show you here now how I get a bit of lift with this as well. So, because I want a bit of lift up here, I am going to over direct it, which means I'm going to push my hair a bit forward and then back. I do it this. Which way should I do it? So you can see it. Right. Clamp it, push it a bit forward, make a turn and then go back forward this is so hard to do trying to look in the mirror and make sure that I'm in frame <laughs> okay hair straight up clamp it push it forward turn and can you see you then get a lift because if you just go straight down, it will be flat as a pancake. Last one. Okay, and this is done. 
so as you can see it is already so straight I wouldn't even use a straightener now uh, you can if you want to I will show you how to use it but to me this done absolutely amazing job at drying and straightening my hair I could not get that look with a brush in a hair dryer no way so just let me show you now how to use the straighteners they are very good as well so again we turn the hair dryer on when it starts going you press this little button for a few seconds the hair dryer will turn itself off the plate starts heating up beep and you can use it Okay, I'm going to press the button. You saw it flash. Okay, and now the plates are heating up. There was the beep. Yes, they are very good plates. And because it's such a wide area as well, you can take bigger yeah it works fabulous but like I said maybe if you had thick coarse hair your hair wouldn't turn out that straight just with the hair dryer you might feel that you need to go over with the straighteners but I don't need to okay so this is the finished look as you can see i've got a bit of body and height because of the way i held this contraption <laughs> but if you know me for me this is too flat um i would still have to use the volume if you are new here i use three tools to to do my hair the way I like it. I use the hair dryer, I've got the Dyson hair dryer to dry my hair completely. Then I go with the volume around my crown to give myself that crimping body. I have a playlist, I will leave it linked here, hair playlist, and if you haven't seen me using this, I use it in a lot of videos. And then I use my straighteners because after I've dried my hair, it's all fluffy. So I use three tools when I go away. I have to take three tools with me. This has replaced two of them, hair dryer and straighteners. And to be honest, I could go like this. I could give myself a bit of a tease, you know, back on my hair to give a bit more body and that would be fine. But at straightening your hair from wet to dry, I think this is pretty amazing. You saw how straight my hair was without even using the flat irons. Now, if you have thick hair, coarse hair, long hair, you will have to take very small sections and obviously it will take you three times the time that it's taken me. I think for hair that length, fine to medium, it's absolutely perfect. And also don't have your hair really really wet because that will extend the time of your styling so you have to think of all these things I've seen people using it on really curly hair and it still works but they still have to use the flat iron function afterwards to get it really smooth but you saw with my hair I didn't really need to use the flat iron so Yes, you have to take all that into consideration. I really like it. It is expensive, but it does replace two tools. So it's quite innovative. So that's where the price comes in. I think this is still cheaper than the similar tool from Dyson. And I think Dyson doesn't have the flat irons built in it. And also you can only hold it down because the air uh, has to point down. I haven't used it, I haven't seen it, but that's what I, I understand from the similar tool from Dyson. Whereas you saw me with this, I could go all sorts of different directions if I wanted to. This serum is amazing. My hair feels lovely and soft. There is no stickiness or greasy feeling, nothing. So this is really good. And I suppose that maybe protect you from the heat as well. 
Okay, my lovelies, I hope this was helpful if you were ever thinking of buying it or buying it for someone else. Um, I, I, I hope I've explained this well enough. I really like it. Let me know if you've got it, if you like it, or if you think to buy it, or what do you think about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.